playing GM, you offer him, what was it, 440 over 15 years, mm -hmm. $29 million a year range. If you're Juan Soto, do you feel like that's your market value right now? No, JP, we talk about it all the time. Like, the total value of the deal, 440, would be the largest contract uh, of total value in Major League history passing Mike Trout. However, if you look at the AAV, the average annual value, 20, just over $29 million would put him 15th in all of Major League Baseball. If you're a 23-year-old Juan Soto, you just finished second in the NL MVP race behind Bryce Harper last year, you know there's a lot more money out there. Uh, Max Scherzer, who just signed his deal with the Mets, is making over $43 million this year. So if you're Juan Soto, you want to have the largest contract by total value in the big leagues. You also are, you want to have the largest AAV in Major League Baseball above that $43 million that Max Scherzer got. Yeah, he was definitely somebody that, were, that they were comparing. Um, so, okay, so if not the Nationals, Russ, who are some other teams that could be a possible suitor for, uh, for Juan Soto? Well, it's really interesting, Brooke. Like, this is something that kind of got thrown out there and has really shaken up the market. And you're going to have a lot of big-name teams that are looking seriously at trying to acquire Juan Soto because he does still have the year of control after this one. But the teams that acquire him, you're going to have to give up a serious haul, a Herschel Walker-like haul to acquire him. And then you have to decide, all right, how do we keep Juan Soto here long-term? Because you got to clean out your farm system if you want to get him. Then you got to put up about four, I mean, not 400, excuse me. The number's going to have to start with a five to get Juan Soto and Scott Boris's attention. So you got to make sure you have the assets to get them and then the money to keep them.